So, good morning. Uh, we gotta get that truck out of there. He come down the road here, it looks like. Coming this way. Split on the ice on this turn. There's a bunch of cinders now, but I'm guessing there wasn't before, and he just shot right off the end. So, we've got the Zach lift here on the Western Star. Ethan's here in the traffic control truck. Could probably put him on that side where that lane is. And Grumpy's here too, because yep. he wanted to supervise. Yeah, right. That's, That's all I get to do in here. Yeah. How's it going? How you doing? How are you? Good. Okay. A little slippery out. Did you pull the fifth wheel? Oh, no, no, no. I was just uh, thinking about, you know, there was one guy who came with the road uh, duty, so. Okay. I was just brainstorming, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't pull the fifth wheel. Okay. Looks like. So you're loaded, but lightweight. Ten to fifteen thousand in there. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully the bumper's not in anything. The skirt is just off the ground. So I think I don't want like. I could pull them right that way, but I don't want to. It's going to bring the trailer and everything into here and lean it all over. Yeah. I don't want to lean it. Are so you thinking, uh, yeah, but you got all of this to try to go over. Yeah, but if we go forward, the whole thing's going to yeah. tilt like that. I don't want to do. What is it in there? Uh, I think some, uh, I don't know exactly, maybe tools or something like that. Okay. So... I think maybe what I'll do is I'll get right here like this, grab up in the bottom of the trailer there, or maybe, and pull, pull them that way out of here backwards. Mm. And then turn the wheels this way a little to get the front end off of the snow down there, or out of the ditch, and pull them backwards out of here. If I'm sitting right here, you know? Yeah. Then I might have to sit here and do it, just to get them started out of here, yeah. and then I can go up behind and pull them straight out. Right. So, what we got here? Do you think, uh... How about from this side, maybe? So here's my thought. Do you think you can get two lines and uh, set up a, way, a ways back here on this somewhat dry stuff? Line from the back there to the back of the trailer and pull at the same time? That might work. It's kind of my thought. Because I'm only going to be able to pull that so far before it straightens out enough. Exactly. And then I'm going to have to let loose with this. Right. You say sit, sit out here. Yeah, sit out here. Just kind of you know back up a little bit and then run a yeah run a line to that. Okay. That'll get him up the hill a little bit. Yeah. We could try that. We could just pull till this gets over because it's going to bring that line yeah, into it's here. Yeah, bring it in there and then. We don't have much of obstacles here. Nope. Then we continue with the trailer. Okay. All set up here. Do you want to take your truck and maybe go over here? Yeah, I'll set up on the nose of this thing. Maybe put you, park your truck right here, okay. and then cone off, like from that sign, you know, around you. Sure. The cones are in the back of your truck. Got it. But set it like in this area right here. Okay. That thing is fancy. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I kind of want to make that a permanent thing. <laughs> like, Here's I'm like, you. yeah, yeah. I, I need you one. You still ain't calling. Yeah. I want a ZR2 and a Colorado. Yep. We break that free, that ice. Because if that's the hole in the fifth wheel plate, that's what I want. Hey, watch out. Excuse me. Go grab the hammer out of the. I'm gonna try to grab into the fifth wheel plate of the trailer. There's probably the strongest thing in all of this, but it's so piled up here that I meant the bigger hammer out of the driveline bag. Well, here, have a little one in the meantime. Okay, I'll start with this. 
What is this going to do? It's okay, I got it. So all you need is a little hammer. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So that's what we're going to pull on. I might be able to just get away with just pulling on this for now. Yeah. Not the trailer, if it's, like I said, if it's as light as he says it is. Yeah. And then uh, once we get it back some, then we can pull on the trailer. We'll try that. You leave it open, we're gonna need stuff. Grumpy, what do you think of that Chevy? You like it? <laughs> oh, I was sick of the bottom. I had it. You just put the shower before you got in. I had to test it for me. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Wanna run that out and hook it up? Yeah. I'm gonna go find my remote. There's my remote. Look everybody, Ethan's helping for once. Right? I'm the cameraman. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna put a loop in this. And we're gonna hook to it. Oh, filming ain't so bad, Casey. All right, there we go. So go lock in that winch. Yep. It's like a vertical pre rolls. Okay. All right, lock in that winch and set your outriggers down. You don't need to go hard, just get the weight off the truck. You want to, yeah, go hop in, start it up, and release all your brakes. Okay. See, this is why we did training the other day. Why so, what? So this is why we did training the other day. Mm -hmm. I realized the more I teach him, the less I have to do. Well. I guess you do. Just go, you'll feel it when it hits. Oh, each of them is independent? Yeah. Oh, that's how you tilt it yep. when we did. More weight. Other side now. That's good. So winches are locked in. Uh, one is. Yeah, perfect. That's what I want. Just the yellow. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's go see how this goes. Okay, turn your wheel that way just a little bit. Like this? Right about there. All your brakes released? Yes. Okay. I love that Zach lift, dude. <laughs> like, I think so good. It just man. goes. This is good? Yep, right there. I, I just don't want to catch your bumper on the edge here and rip it off, but as far as you can get over is good. I want it to scoot us back end over. Yeah. Set your tractor brakes. Tractor, right? Tractor, trailer released. Okay. It's just sliding into the ditch. Yeah. I might have to do the same thing on the other side to pull it that way, you know? Yeah. Winch is stalled. 
Okay, release. I also don't want to pull the trailer too far into the lane we have over right. there. Release, yep. In all reality though, if we get the trailer over far enough, we can take the front that way and the trailer won't go into the ditch. Yeah. That wouldn't be too bad of a thing. Yeah, because this is just going to keep sliding in. Yeah. And it gets deeper right there. Yeah. Look, it's so close to wanting to go out, but it's right on the edge of that. Okay, now I think we can get the front and pull him that way and he's going to be okay. Yeah, grab an Iver tool and... Uh... I don't even know if we need that or just the tow hook, we'll see. Yeah. Go ahead and then hook that from the trailer there. Okay, set your brakes. Straight forward towards the front of the trailer. Can you uh, spool me out? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna pull it back in. Yeah, it needs to go yep. straight over. He's got all those wheel covers on, so I can't grab it with a rim sling. But I can go the other side now. Yep. I think we do the same thing from the other side, and then yeah. forcefully drag him up the bank there. I think we'll be golden. So close. Yeah. Like this though, this gets steep right here. Right. He's right on the edge of it. And it's, it's super slippery. But right now, if we just grab the front and go that way, he's out. Right. The trailer's not, because where the trailer was, it would have come over into the ditch sure. if we did that, but now I think we're fine. That's why I bring him, Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpy, how are we doing so far? We need a, we need a, doing good. We need a pass fail examination from the man himself. Yeah. So what are you going to hook on the track? I think now that the trailer's so far back, I can hook onto the truck and just bring his truck out. The trailer's not going to go over into the ditch, yeah. so we don't have to worry about that. Is my thought. What do you think? No, it's not. If you keep pulling that way, you can shove the trailer clear out. In the, yeah, I don't want to the take the trailer out in the road. And okay. All right, pull up your outriggers and shut your doors. Okay, I'm gonna go around the other side. Okay, I'm gonna put the Iver tool in here since we're gonna be pulling sideways on him. That means I need this. And this, and this, and this. Get our these ones out of the way. Get our cross member and our rings.
Okay. So Ethan, take the yellow line and hook it straight to the ring on the driver's side. Got it. You don't need the chain, you can just go straight to it. Thank you, sir. Your million dollar piece of equipment. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hopefully we're done with this. Huh? Islet or bar? To the islet. Okay, lock this in. Okay, release all your brakes and turn that way. And then we're gonna watch and make sure we're not gonna drag that landing gear off or that skirt. And we're gonna go make sure the trailer's not gonna hit on his tires. That's fine there. Uh, we're rubbing a little bit, but... Just on the base plate? Yeah. That's fine, as long as we're not digging in hard. And you know, what we really worry about is digging into like the deck plate or the frame. Gotcha. Because if, if that digs into that deck plate and then the truck turns back, it can bend the frame right there or cause serious damage. So that's, see that corners? That's yeah, one thing we gotta... We're not, we're not engaged, yeah. Okay, that's one thing we gotta watch for. Okay, we're good. We're good. As long as Grumpy says we're doing okay. He's got one brake locked up on his trailer. Yeah. See the trailer still sitting level? Yeah. That's all we want. Now's where we want to watch that corner. Oh, we're good. When the truck's coming up and the trailer's sitting level. Yeah. Okay. I need to pull forward now. Set your brakes. Yep. I'm gonna pull forward, then pull you out. Hold your wheel straight for now. Okay, turn this way a little. Right there. Hold that. Thank 
Now we just pull them up straight and we should be good. Heck yeah. I think you can probably just drive out. What's that? You can probably just drive right now. Yeah, but I don't want them to spin and slide. Yeah. And I want to pull my cable in tight. There you go. There's that too. Okay, now I just pull right up behind my truck. You see why I hooked to only the passenger side? Yeah. Just so that we had more of a sideways pull from that side coming out. Yep. Yeah, instead of bridling it like you usually do. Yep. I wanted to pull from as far that side as I could yeah. to help get that swing on it. Yeah. Now we're going to drop our boom down some as we pull. Now just imagine if we didn't have that Iver tool. They have the hooks for them, but, but, but you, you're not supposed to side load them at all. Right. Where that Iver tool, the way it clamps into that frame and then makes its own cross member, you can yeah. side load them and you're okay. No, that thing is a lifesaver. Yep. I'm into it. Okay, go ahead and drive forward. Nice. Yep. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Red right set your brakes. Yeah, I saw that. How do you do, Grumpy? Good. Good. Back to home, but it, we got to unfreeze it. Got to unfreeze un really the brakes. Yeah. That is one sweet looking traffic control truck up there. You gotta get a picture of your traffic control rig all what? set up. You gotta get a picture of your traffic or get you a little shorter, a reel or something. That's how you know you made it like you got manufactured place in your ride. So some people asked about these uh, cable holders here. I'll show you how they work. It's kind of like it looks like a little Lego hand, but they uh, right. Oops. Let me straighten that. There we go. So how they work is they hold tension on your cable, but they have to come out a certain distance. So if you act extend the boom or do something like that without your winches free spooled, they come out and then they can open up, and your hook comes free. But Hold it really nice. Very handy. And this is a bolt-on thing, so you can bolt it onto the back of any wrecker. Okay. Now they're successful bolt and exactly. Yep. This the operator is already too. Nope. It's all the Zach lift. Pretty program. Yeah. So you're gonna anything everywhere, anytime. Okay, let's get paid and get out of here.